Okay, I have a few minutes today before I have to go into work. Teaching an IELTS class today, and so this is kind of IELTS warm up. And I'm going to be looking at a, a task two from uh, Fakir, um, and it's a discuss both views. Now let's look at the views that we're going to be discussing. Some people believe that advertising has a strong effect on a person's decision making process. Now here's some key words. I I know just from the start that this the decision making process is probably not going to be mentioned very much. Has a strong effect on a person. Period. But no. This part here is part of the question, and we'll see if it gets addressed. Others feel that it has little or no real impact. Little or no. Little or no. Not none. And um, who are these people? People in general, around the world. It's not specific to any place or time. Discuss both sides and give your own opinion. All right. So, today, advertisements. Okay, now. My code, orange, is task response. Green, grammar. Yellow, lexical. Blue, coherence and cohesion. I don't mark everything, and particularly since I don't have much time, like I do today. Uh, or I don't today. I don't have a lot of time. So, they are becoming more frequently published in all media sectors. Does that, is that said anywhere in the question? This is your, um, oh God loud noises in the background it's a holiday or a holiday is coming up on monday and so um what is today the wednesday we've already got anyway it's loud in the background my microphone's pretty good it's probably not going to pick it up but anyway is this mentioned why put it in here to introduce the topic of advertisements well you can think of a better way than that because it's not true they are not becoming more frequently published in all media sectors. Magazines, for example. Magazines and newspapers around the world are on the decline. Fewer of them are being sold because of the Internet. Yeah. Um, they're relying on, uh, some companies are relying more and more on social media advertising. And they're not printing anything you know no mag no printed so it's not true now is that going to hurt you no because it has nothing to do with the topic but it doesn't help either this doesn't you know and it presents in it can't help but present in the examiner's mind that you're starting your sentence you're starting your essay with an incorrect statement of fact That does not address the question. Okay, uh, to continue, some people claim that advertising those people. The products. Okay, this is a plural noun, and you are at this point speaking in general. One of the rules of articles that most commonly become uh, is uh, most commonly ignored, leading to mistakes such as this one, is that. When you are talking about a plural noun, here, products, and you're speaking in general, like all of them, then you do not use the. Yeah? Very common mistake. I wish I had a button that said, do not use the when discussing plural nouns and speaking in general. Now, if you had said, by the products that were advertised, it would be a bit wordy, but we don't know. Okay? The products. No, just products. No the. Whereas others say, it does not have effects on the audience. Nope, that's not what it says. The other side says it has little or no. Okay, If it was no, that'd be different. But it says little or no. And that every word in the question is important. Yeah. What about decision-making process? Where's that? Not mentioned. It's just saying, well, on the one hand. And it's true that some promotion do not create positive impressions on people's minds. Okay, now, here you refer to, uh, going down, the effects on, oops, the effects mm -hmm, that they're not very good advertisements. They're poorly laid out and they're, you know, bad colors. Well, how does that affect the decision-making process? 
Do not create positive impressions. Well, positive means good. And what you're looking for, if, if you're going to present that view, is their view is that it is not create an effective impression or a persuasive. It does not change people's minds. You know, um, this can happen if the adverts are poorly designed, which are commonly found. Okay, here you got the um, poor use of which, okay? which are commonly found in small companies that have low marketing budgets. Companies, budgets, plural. Okay, um, so you can either say this can happen if the adverts, which are commonly found in small companies, that have, are poorly designed. If you want to put it at the end here, you're going to need a comma, and it's really not a very good place to put it because which, what are we talking about? which are commonly found what okay um so put it put it after the thing it refers to and since it's non-defining it needs a comma brochures all right brochures why all right mm -hmm. what about distributed to the public use uninterested layouts and okay first of all this is not a complete sentence for instance, brochures, which are distributed to the public, okay, use uninteresting layouts and color palette, or even unreadable text. Okay, maybe it is. Use, yeah, unclear. Hence, the public, the public, will not buy. Okay, um, they don't at all. Because they have bad ad, just because they have bad advertisements, they're not going to buy them. How about will not have their decision-making process, or will not have their minds changed, will not be influenced by the advertisements. That's what we're talking about. Not you know, nothing here is talking about nobody buying it. We're talking about the influence of ads. So hence, the public would not be influenced, would not be you know um, persuaded would not be more likely to buy the services, products or services. And sadly, why is it sad? <laughs> uh, for this, what is this? Will probably be wasted. Well, will not buy. Why probably? Besides, this is, this is an unreal conditional. I see it that way. You know, w would probably be wasted. Right? Well, where's decision-making process in any of this? So this does not, although you have support, okay, you present a, here's your, here's your um, topic sentence. Yeah, okay, good. Here's support. Good, yeah. Here's an example. Yeah, right. Okay. It's, you know, um, the right, I, the right um, structure. Yes. So good on you for that. It might even be supported. Okay, this could be six for task response, but it does not address the question, so it can't get to seven. On the other hand, several large companies, undoubtedly, well, prove it to me. I don't want to see undoubtedly here. Um, I want you to show it to me. Are able to gain public eyes. Now, here and then the next couple of yellows, these have to do with collocation. What words go together? Okay. Gain and public eyes. And, and public eyes, even that. These don't fit with each other. It's not how we would say something like that. Those words don't go together. Are undoubtedly are able to you know, gain attention. Draw. We draw eyes. Public eyes. Public eyes. The public's. Apostrophe S, eyes. Okay. But um, I like the use of eyes. That's good. But it just doesn't, it doesn't collocate very well with gain through their advertisements. They distribute their marketing contents. Once again, marketing in this instance is being used as a noun. Contents also as a noun. Two nouns don't usually sit next to each other very well unless they collocate, unless they 
know each other unless you see them together a lot. They're friends, you know, business card, um, you know, golf course, um, hospital bed, something that you know, they're commonly seen. Marketing contents? No. Marketing materials? Yes. I know it's like, what's the difference? But marketing materials is a collocation. Marketing contents is not. It's just a, there's no rule or anything behind it. It's just common usage. Okay. There's a, there's a contents to the internet. How about on? You want on the internet or through the internet? Which is arguably the most profitable. Okay. So this, the internet is, the internet is not defined by the arguably the most profitable media. So it being non-defining, you need commas okay, to the internet, comma, which is arguably the most profitable media, comma. And what does that have to do with the question? Okay. It's not, it's not addressing the question. Leave it out. So, um, yeah, me, well, me. Either, see, it's without that comma, it becomes unclear. Profitable media, you either by, uh, right, either by paying the platform, paying the platforms, or endorsing popular figures, such as YouTubers and movie actors. Ah, here's the thing, is that the popular figures endorse the product. And paying the platforms, I don't understand what that means. They get, have to pay for the advertisements? Well, of course. It's not free. So it's blue because it's incoherent. It doesn't make s It's confusing. So we get uh, um, YouTubers. Uh, okay. Needs a capital there. The best illustration for this is Shopee, an online, uh, which recently hired Cristiano Ronaldo to show up in one of its ads. Um, no, appear. Some people say you shouldn't even use phrasal verbs like show up, that it's too informal. That's not true. You can use phrasal verbs, but you don't show up in an ad if you're getting paid to do it. I mean, you know, appear, appear, much better. In on YouTube, YouTube is a proper noun and it's grammar because capitalization is uh, considered part of punctuation, which is grammar. So you, too. The ads. The ads is. Oh, I shouldn't have to explain that. The ads are uh, very effective. That it became trending. Now here's, now again, confusing connector. What? How are these? Now the ads are very effective. It then became trend. Became trending among the youth. Indeed. This requires this. What is this? Indeed, this requires. Are you talking about the trending? Are you talking about the advertisements? I, I don't understand what this is. This requires the companies. Once again, plural noun, speaking in general, no the. To invest in, no, there's no in there, just invest a large sum of money, comma, but at the end of the day, it is fruitful. Yay. All right. Why? How does having Ronaldo, how does that represent anything about, uh, okay, the effect on a decision-making process? Okay. So, how does the advertisement affect people's decision-making process? And what do you think about all this? What's your opinion? We haven't seen it yet. To sum up, I agree. Oh, here we are, just on time. That adverts can play a major role to persuade people to purchase companies, comma, products. However, this can only work if they can spend, no, if they spend a lot of money on, you spend money on marketing. All right. Well, hmm, your structure is fine. I mean, you have the idea. You've got a, you know, your paragraphing is excellent. You've got a topic sentence. Okay? You've got, you explain it. Yeah, you've got an example. 
and you tie it all together at the end. So definitely very high for a coherence and cohesion. But there's big, there's like major parts of the question that you left out. Okay, you addressed both sides. Yes, but what did you address? Nothing about the decision-making process. Nothing um, about how these ads affect people. Just that they do or that they don't. You know, the question was not, why do some ads, why are some forms of advertising effective and why are some forms not effective? You know, if, if that was the question, this would be uh, a very good answer to that. But um, it's not. And your opinion is not really clear throughout. Yeah, we don't get your opinion until one sentence at the end. And to score high in task response, well, it wouldn't matter at this point, but you need to get, bring that in earlier. So what you need to do is uh, do some work on the difference between defining and non-defining relative clauses. Just Google those two, you know, defining relative clause. Look for some worksheets. Read some grammar on that particular aspect because... You like to use them. There's lots of witches in here. <laughs> and um, But you need to be able to use them correctly, uh, when to use a comma and when to not. All right, so that's easily fixable. Um, remember the rule about the, okay? When you've got plural noun in general, no the. Um, and then collocation, there's really nothing you can do about this. I mean, in the short term, you know, there's collocation dictionaries and such, but... Um, how do you know what words go with other words? You just get exposed to English in a large, in a large amount. You know, just the more you read and are exposed to the language, the more that you hear these words being put together, and you find out, you just absorb which words are friends and which words are not. So there's three things for you, Fakir. I hope that helps. Have a great day, and I gotta go to work.